Hi everyone to oh, Hi everyone and welcome to Well as you can see our newest last one on the channel Kirby Superstar This one will be a long one and not for the reasons that you would think well probably actually that is the case um anyway our first game here um, in the six adventure pack is Spring Breeze, which is essentially um, Kirby's Dreamland with copy abilities. Why? He'll see. Oh, like we need to know how to jump. Sorry if I had my riffs, a little, a few riffs here and there, but I find this kind of boring personally. At least this part. I'll point it out later, but this, uh, but the the, um, the tutorial is actually only the first part of a bigger tutorial, at least the one you're seeing right now. I guess I'll mention it. I'll r bring it back up later. No, it's not. Anyway, let's get on with it. And like I said, this is a this is essentially a remake of Kirby's Dream Land with copy abilities. So, yeah, we're back in green greens. Since um Kirby's Adventure slash Kirby's Night Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, the copy abilities have been greatly well well they've been made much much more versatile with a bunch of different button combinations that you can see on the um, screen I just pulled up briefly. Um, you can. You can do a lot of different things, and you can call a um, palette swap of an enemy, of an of an enemy called a helper by I believe that's the A no that's not the A button um the Y button I. I think, yeah, I think it's the Y button in the, um, SNES version. Correct me if I'm wrong.
Anyway, um, with that out of the way, we face our first boss. And guess what it is? And by the way, that was a, that was pretty much a rhetorical question. Regardless, that's that's the end of Green Greens. And here we take a trip back to the Flu Islands. And this guy can give us the fighter ability, which is ba which basically let's let's Kirby throw throw a ton of punches and rip off Street Fighter. Well, like no, it kind of is ripping off Street Fighter. In a way. Especially with his uppercut move, I guess. <laughs> but regardless, that's the invincible candy, and you can barrel through anything with it. And if you recall Nightmare in Dreamland, you can probably remember with the crash and the crash um, ability does. It's a screen nuke. Yeah, good too. Well, I could have fought low, 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 and la, la, la. Um, normally, and I decided to um, not do that that for some reason. <sighs> anyway, bubbly clouds. <laughs> and Sword Kirby look works about as about how how you think he would work? That is, if you played in uh, an older Kirby, I guess. He's just he's got a variety of chops and thrust moves. Well, just watch, I can't explain it too well. And like in Dreamland and Adventure, there's a secret hidden in the moon in this area.
after you deal with bonkers here, you get access to the hammer, which is probably, which, while it was probably incredibly, while it was incredibly powerful, um, in, in Adventure and Nightmare in Dreamland by proxy, it's utterly unstoppable if you know how to use it in this game and its remake. In fact, I'll keep it for the next, the next boss fight. And we're back on Mount DDE, no boss rush this time. So, um, it's pretty straightforward. The battle against King DDE would simply be, um, what it was in Kirby's Dream Land, albeit a lot easier, if you decided to go without a copy ability here. You could abuse, you could abuse it massively to completely trivialize this fight. Although I pretty much did that anyway. And I'll leave you guys to enjoy the closing the, the closing or not quite closing credits, I guess closing credits for the um, game. So um I, I guess I'll see you later. <sighs> this is Adrian Campbell signing off for Half Productions. And see you in part 